The term technology has its beginnings in the marriage of two ancient words, meaning skill and reason. Today, technology is that and more. It is the conversion of knowledge to practical use, the weaving together of countless parts, the organization of manufacture. The sum of all this can be found in one dynamic industrial enterprise that makes exciting things happen. The full story of our scientific and engineering abilities can best be seen by following our pattern of progress throughout the realm of science. A pattern woven from the threads of technology. Only moments ago in the span of history, when the known world was but a fragment of the planet, philosophers thought that the fabric of all life was woven from four simple threads. Water, air, fire, and earth. Their theory was based on what seemed to be the natural order of things. Every form of life had its own element. But if an ancient could view our technological accomplishments, he would stand in awe as he did before his deities. To him, the sea was strange, boundless, a place from which some never returned. In the 20th century, we go to sea with confidence. Every day, more of us are taking to the water in search of recreation, enjoying the good life that technology makes possible. Even the weekend sailor knows that he can rely on such electronic wonders as our fathometer depth sounders and ship-to-shore radios. Fire Island Coast Guard, this is the Lady Luck. Can you advise present weather in Fire Island Inlet? Over. Lady Luck, this is Coast Guard Fire Island. Wind when nature south. conspires to confuse the yachtsman, fogging the senses, the magic of radar gives him eyes to find the channel back to port. Our technology goes beneath the seas, too. Underwater acoustic devices are tested. They can reveal shapes and movements normally unseen, unheard. Based on submarine sonar, they are capable of radiating sound waves to search the depths of the ocean. Knowledge gained here becomes a thread in the progress of technology and leads us to exploratory applications that were undreamed of only a few short years ago. From a geophysical survey vessel, a trail of seismic sensors stretches for hundreds of feet, probing for the wealth of natural resources that lies hidden under the ocean floor. High-powered sound generators send out sound waves, which the sensors will hear as echoes from the deep. Once it was necessary to detonate tons of dynamite to obtain the results that our system achieves without harm to sea life. On board, computers provide continuous processing of data gathered in the search for oil and natural gas. We have created sensitive instruments to draw profiles from the returning signals 
and prepare the information for detailed analysis. Centuries ago, man crossed the oceans seeking new worlds. Today, these same oceans are patrolled by craft equipped with our sonar systems to protect the shores of the nation. Systems that must perform with total reliability. Here, years of experience bring both reliability and efficiency to the manufacture of undersea sonar systems. Accuracy is achieved with the most modern tools and techniques available. This machine represents more than just automation. Programmed by computer, the change of one or two punch cards updates its assignment in moments, while it weaves billions of wires without a failure. On other areas of the Earth, the threads of our technology are also applied to geophysical exploration. Here, as in the oceans, harmless sound waves search for underground formations that may reveal the presence of oil or natural gas. When these resources are discovered, other of our subsidiary companies develop the processes to make them into useful products. Research needs to be translated into the design, engineering, and construction of facilities that produce electric power or process oil, chemicals, and petrochemicals. In a three-dimensional model, the flow, each piece of equipment, the placement of every vessel is analyzed, so the completed plant will be able to transform crude oil into gasoline, uranium into electric power, or natural gas into chemicals. Blueprints become productive realities all over the world. Threads of technology are also leading to an age of miniaturization and micro-miniaturization that seemed like fantasy only a few years ago. We have arrived in a whole new world of electronics. A world where the human hand is too large, the material almost unmanageable. Components, amplifiers, tuning circuits shrink to the size of dust. A world of micro manipulators, micro testers, micro probes. A world where men observe as machines work. And toward tomorrow, Research and development, the keystones of Raytheon's multi-technology. The laser beam is symbolic of this effort, creating a kind of light that is unknown in nature. With it, we can explore and use light in new ways for communications, medicine, and industry. The gathering of data, 
formulation of experiments, testing of ideas can be endlessly drawn out. Often there are detours before we find the right path, discovering what won't work as well as what will. One of our scientists looking for the solution to a problem may find the answer to a question that no one has ever thought to ask. Thus, research and development in whatever form they may take continually expand our horizons. The classic elements of the ancients once marked the boundaries of man's thinking. Now they are but the stepping stones of science. Today, these threads of technology form a pattern of progress. The pattern we follow in search of the secrets of the universe, stretching all the way to infinity.